wabu utato Mandela, we says Estrella Uguti, ascends the Umesugo, Emma Conina Mangan, Espilago, Nestalago, Umesugo Swens, a Sibaning, Susanga Nisa, Umnani Unjalo, Wens, Umesugo Mkul, is in Tanza Zomlilo, Zenza Ilangabi. Welcome to Sun Exchange, a platform where you can own solar panels powering high impact solar projects in the sunniest locations on Earth. Places like this, the tropical east coast of South Africa. This is a land with rich history and fertile soils, but also a place with increasing levels of unemployment. We're in the town of Kwadakuza, and in this town, we're going to seed a low carbon revolution in this solar project to power Ushaka Mall. The Ushaka Mall, it was officially opened in 2010, and it was a big boost for our town. The best function I saw it fulfilling was that uh, it brought people from all financial categories into one place. It really created a point of unity in our town. Bringing solar panels and solar energy is going to create opportunities because it's going to cut our overheads down. It's going to help people realize that there are other ways out. And the best part of it is we are using the sun for it. The history of this town has been farming. But due to climate change, due to the impact that all of this has had on the economy, on the ground itself, when the farms began to decline, they started selling up the farms. And as a result, those workers that are on the farm had to come into the town to start to seek employment, to survive their families. It's definitely got hotter, and the rainfall itself is not, not as consistent. The area is very dependent on the sugar industry. You're not here forever, so whatever you're doing now, you want to leave it in a better place than when you got it. Farmers in this area are extremely dependent on power. So something like solar, people are looking at already, but not so much on a large scale. We have a vision of being a city in 2030, but we want to go with the new concept of being solar. We actually use a lot of energy, we lose a lot of energy also. So there we do have a challenge. I have seen more on the industries that use a lot of energy. They will welcome this because they want to save on energy. And when you don't have solar, it affects the productivity of every business. And that is a major loss to the companies. The mall is going to be standing out as one of the entities in this town that's really going to put the green footstep. In South Africa, there's a term referred to as Ubuntu, meaning togetherness and sense of community. In order for it to happen, there has to be people coming together, combining as one and, and going forward in a common direction. We've got the roof, you've got the funding. You're making the money, we're saving on the energy, and I think that's the best partnership that we could have in sustaining the future, not just of this planet, but in the future of our children and generations to follow them. Each solar cell for this project costs just 67 rand or around 4 US dollars. Each cell will produce an estimated 6.52 kilowatt hours of clean electricity per year, being purchased by Ushaka Mall at a starting price of 1 rand 17, which is around 7 US cents per kilowatt hour. This gives you an estimated internal rate of return of 12.41%. The FPA is an association of landowners that work together to prevent fires. Globally we're seeing a definite increase in intensity and in fires burning in areas that they weren't previously burning or maybe they were previously burning but not to the degree or scale that they are now and that's the difference. There was times that we could manage a long line. It's not so easy anymore. Prevention is my middle name. When I started out it was suppression, suppression, suppression in the role that I play in the, in the Fire Protection Association. Without this long-term funding, it's incredibly hard to maintain consistent awareness and prevention programs that are ultimately going to benefit not just general society, but our ecologically sensitive environment. 